how to start this video off. Um, as you guys can see, I'm super nervous right now. I'm sitting in the bathroom. The girls are in there playing right now. Babe is not here. I called my sister over and asked her to bring me something. I'm sure you guys already know what that is. I haven't got my period and I'm just like, you know, me and babe have been being so careful y'all by the way. You know, of course it's still gonna be on your mind. Like, you know, am I pregnant? You're always gonna have those thoughts, especially when you're not on birth control and when, you know, you're not using protection. Yesterday I was in the car picking up Melanie from school. Randomly, Milan goes, mommy, baby brother, mommy baby brother and y'all it tripped me out like it seriously tripped me out and i called babe i'm like babe malayan said this like malayan said mommy baby brother mommy baby brother and he was like what he was like nah but i don't think you are you know because we've been being very careful but i'm gonna be honest y'all it, it had been on my mind so much that i'm like you know what i'm gonna have to go ahead and get me a test which i got today y'all so we are about to get ready to take this test we're about to find this out today i am super nervous about this i'm gonna take this tip and we're gonna get right <sighs> okay y'all so we have got the results back okay we got the results back and and i am pregnant <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness we about to see this reaction and hopefully it's a good one What's wrong? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> one to ten. Excited? I don't know what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. Here you go. Here. <laughs> Something for you. Yeah. Don't take all day opening this up. <laughs> what is this, like? you put Open some, it. You put some random in another box. <laughs> another Just open it, silly. Open it up. What is it, man? Open it. <sighs> what? That means you come here, baby. <laughs> come here. Come here. What you get? <laughs> what you mean? I mean, it's my junior probably. Like. <laughs> this is lit. When did you get this? Today. You not nervous? Like. Nah, I mean. Check <laughs> 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 <Take> in. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's real. It's very real. Yeah, it's like this. So we, we got. got a we got a secret. A surprise. I don't know. How many people do we have in the house? One, five. Two five. Plus five. Um, two, two plus two plus five. No, two plus three. Five. Really? Two. I thought it was six people. It is. One, two, three, four, five. Five people? No, six. Uh oh. Six, the camera. They said the camera's a six person. So mommy's having another baby. Yay! Yay! Are y'all excited? Yes. We haven't, I guess, really gotten to, well, I haven't gotten to really talk since we announced the big news and everything. I'm personally very excited. I feel like the pu this completes the puzzle. This is, I mean, like, this is the finish. Like, this is the El Finito. Like, this is the... This is the last piece of our family. Everybody's saying like, it's gonna be a boy, it's gonna be a boy, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be a that, this is your boy. I think, well, most of all, as long as he or she's healthy, that's all that really matters, but I'm excited to to have just a finishing piece. We got all of our kids by before the age of 30. That way we can situate ourselves, watch our kids grow, and enjoy our 30s with no pregnancies. We get the big wedding knocked out before 30. We'll have all of our children before 30. And then we could just spend our 30s just enjoying each other and watching the kids grow. Like, that's that's gonna be litty. <sighs> okay, guys, this is the baby. Oh my God. We can't record too much because he or gender? she is moving and we don't wanna show the gender because we don't wanna know either. But this is the baby. 
Y'all see the little heart popping? Look at it. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, we found out what the gender of the baby was today. It is in this envelope. I am super duper nervous but excited whether it's a boy or girl i'm just super excited y'all i am so excited cool. that we are about to find out the gender of Thank our baby baby's on the phone y'all so but we're about to get ready to get out of the car oh, so that we can turn Your first nephew, yeah. you happy? Y'all excited? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I knew it was a boy. Why? I, I knew it. I mean, it just it bound to happen. <laughs> How y'all feel? Y'all excited? Well, I knew it was a boy. How? I just guess. You knew? Yeah, it had to be. It had to be tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh -huh. Um, I knew it was gonna be a boy. I knew it. It was destined, you does, know. Does his name gotta start with an M too? You already know. How you feel, T? Good. I knew it was a boy too. Aww. That was so perfect. Everything turned out amazing. I had my family there, which was um, a really big deal. So I'm super excited that we are having a son. Lit, How you uh, felt when it first like? I was in shock, bro. I saw like the. Yeah. I was in shock, like. <laughs> I was just like excited. shell shocked. I'm, I'm really excited. So we wanted to officially announce that we are going to be doing a home oh water birth. I'm so I'm excited. We met up with them. Asked a bunch of questions. They love us. It's like a pictures online and stuff with some of your births. How you feel, baby? Good. Excited. Great. 110 over 68. Perfect. This may sound weird, yeah. but I thought you guys, how you figure out how the baby is, I thought y'all put y'all hand up the women and feel. All right, so what I'm feeling for right here is the head. Oh, you can feel it? Mm -hmm. So the head's right here, kind of feels like a ball and it probably feels uncomfortable. So now what I'm feeling for is feeling for back. So I'm about to get ready to soak in the bathtub with some Epsom salt. Normally I sit in here like every other day when I'm not feeling okay. Even before I was pregnant, I like to just soak in the bathtub, but I put on my feet all day. So I'm just gonna sit in here for a little bit. All right, Shadi, you gonna have to get up now. You gotta go, baby. We gotta get out the house, come on. But I'm tired. No, you got <laughs> You gonna get you gonna give me some food? I'll give you anything you want if you get up. Come on. How you feel? I'm tired. Guys, it's so hard for me to get her to get up. Some days, some days, not all the time. Hmm. Come on, baby. Where we going? I got crawfish in the car. You lying. I do. I'm gonna go give it away. You say you ain't gonna feed your son? You can your son yeah. do it? I'm gonna make you a sandwich. Same. I'm gonna I mean, make you a, no a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You don't want no bread. <laughs> Come on, babe. Oh, the gel. Um, Your hair's so pretty. I wonder how big he is. One, my first baby was six. The other one was six pounds and six ounces. You don't look like you're growing a huge baby. So what's this that's always sitting here? There's a little foot. It's 
Making that known. Is that what you're talking about over here? Something just really hard. This is, I'm chasing a foot right now. He's moving it all around over here. Yeah, I got 34 and a half, so that's good. So I got like a little seafood platter that we about to actually bust down and eat together. It's pretty big and it's a, and it's a lot of food, so quite filling. I know Marquise was running his mouth while he was up in there. He looked like he was saying something. <laughs> was you? Yeah, every time we leave, we got to stop and get food. Today I am 36 weeks, so we're getting closer to the baby coming. Our actual due date is June the 10th. We had an appointment and my doctor told me I started getting the Braxton Hicks. No, she said you've been having them. Oh, she, yeah, she said yeah. I've been having them. And basically, I didn't know that at all. It's the feeling I get in my stomach, but I was like, I thought it felt like contractions. Just, yeah. I mean, I thought no, it was supposed thought to feel. You thought he was just like poking up. You thought he was sitting in a- Basically, position. She, was like, she was in discomfort, but until she actually described it to one of our midwives. Well, she came and touched it. She felt it. Oh, okay. We'll lay in the bed. Wherever you are most comfortable. Yeah. Bed? Yeah. You feeling for head? The uh, head? Just feeling all over. I feel like his little booties up here. Hands? Oh. It, oh, are you tender here? Yeah. I feel something. It feels weird. <laughs> when I press here? Mm hmm. Okay, that's your ligaments. You said she would do something like be on the ball and like, to, I guess, soothe her. Oh, oh like, like tell I'm going to show you forward leaning inversions today before I leave. Are you seeing a chiropractor at all? Is it gives you more room through here and it also will loosen those ligaments for you. We hope for a baby to... So today might be the day guys. I woke up having some mild contractions at like 10 to 15 minutes apart. Sometimes I feel like something's pulling. What is it called? Like her ligaments so are really ligament tight. Pulling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it hurts when and even okay. when she touches here of okay. her head, it hurts. So okay. So is that the it's like a knuckle thing? Yes. Vibration percussion type concept. It does it at a consistent rate and allow for blood flow to right. increase and get endorphins going. Deep breath. Oh well. Ooh. Oh, right? Yeah. Awesome. That sounded like it felt so good. <laughs> he likes this. He's gonna probably call you. It was tears of joy, you know, being able to be here to share this experience with my daughter doing, you know, a home birth and black women don't take chances and we are so afraid and we so accustomed to getting medication, going to the hospital. You know, we're afraid of pain, but we go through pain, period, you know? And one thing about having a baby and giving birth to a child, it's one of the beautiful blessings. I don't care how much the pain is, but once you see that baby, you're gonna be like, it was all right. Mm -hmm. How many are you your contractions? I had one in the house. So <laughs> ready, I'm so ready. Are you ready? She got a walk. do got no, oh, there we go. This the only, this the last boy one. It's fine, it's back It's 12.55 right now. I guarantee you, like, I give it by 4.35 o'clock. We gonna have some action. Y'all can see I'm rearranging the living room right now. I gotta move the couches around so that we have space for the pool right here. Sitting, you're only having on about every 10 minutes. Walking, you're having on more. Right. Um, why don't you try to relax for a few minutes? Okay. Do what they do with not being upright moving. And then it may even have you go take a bath. So a lot of the time a bath, if you're having more just like a irritated possible uterus, I just took a bath. A bath can you did? Yeah. Did you feel like when you took that bath, did you feel like it made them come more or less? Uh I'm not really sure. I don't sure. think I don't think it really made a a, a change. You got a mom and a baby hanging around? He got a bed and it's been time. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. He got to have everything he can do to When he picked up the new stuff, I'm going to put them all up in the car, rip me a van. I'm going to go to New Braunfels, taking to see the animals. Yeah. Is it here in your hips at all? Oh. Is it here in your washroom
cute robe you got on though. I just washed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that walk. I never. Well, I knew like walking, but I didn't think it really like. Was so do that much of a for difference. You? Well, that's why I was like, well, let's see what happens when you go home. The bed leaning? Is this just me? No, it's just you. It's just you, you on the edge. edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it? Are you guys sweating? Yeah. I'll turn, I'll turn <laughs> it that's behind you, Mama. That was a lot. Of <laughs> I just dropped it down to like seven. I'm gonna drop oh. it like six, 68. No, it's fine. None of y'all fine. No, I'm kinda hot. She too, says it's me. Oh, you, you can, you can run it around though, babe. So when you do the sweet wet, you kind of grab around the head and go around. Right. It. So the cervix is setting around baby's head now. Mm -hmm. And I can go in there and we're about a four out. And then from there, I can go in and just run my hand along the baby's head. And what that does is irritates the uterus. I didn't know that I needed this pad. That's why I grabbed After we do your vitals, I'd like to do what's called lift and tucks with you. Okay. Um, and what that is is where I put a rebozo around your tummy. You guys, I'm about to have a baby. I'm super nervous, but in a good way. And I hope I'm not like freaking anybody out. But I'm very excited and I can't wait to meet my baby. Oh, the pain is getting way more intense and I'm just praying for a healthy baby and a safe delivery. I know God got me and my family got me and that's all that matters. It's kind of awkward telling y'all this while I'm on the toilet. Alright Marquise, we're still doing it over here. Oh, you can, can you move that one? I'm going to have to get your help hooking up this humidifier because <laughs> I don't understand. For your baby brother to come? Because I love the baby brother. For real? Yes. You hear mommy? Uh, yes. Sound like she needs daddy's help. I'm gonna go help her, okay? Okay. You ready for him to come? Yes. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you see him? I have to
the doctor basically was telling me that um, it is possible that I may have to have a C-section during my third pregnancy. So if you guys did not know, with Melanie and Milan, they were both they they both were vaginal, but this one may be a C-section just because the placenta is really low right now. It's and below the baby. Yeah. And it's supposed to always be above the baby. So within the next month or two, they're gonna be um, watching me and stuff. We are gonna pray for the best because, again, I do not want to have a C-section.